Hello and welcome back to Dreamscaper. Now, I said I was going to start the next episode with the last level because that's the last level that you guys saw, but I actually decided to start it here with the level before it because we didn't get to spend that much time in it. And also there's a memory here, so this is where we're gonna pick up, an awkward period. I found this truly hideous pair of spiked armbands at the thrift store around the corner. Waves of nostalgia paired with embarrassment washed over me. I owned these exact same bands during my goth phase. High school was a strange time. None of my phases were awkward because none of them were phases. They were all just other parts of me that came out that day. This run, I want to say it has not been a perfect run, but it was good enough for me to get here again easily. I'm a little concerned though about uh, some things, but we'll see how it goes. I, I'm just going to be careful. Also, oh, <laughs> says I, and I immediately fuck up. I am me. Oh, this guy's here. No, this. Oh my god. Oh, what? Oh no. That thing took almost all of my health. Wow. Well, never mind that. But you know what? I'm not surprised because like I said, that wasn't a perfect run like the other one was. So, okay, fine. What we're gonna do before I do another run, which you're not going to watch, is I'm going to again, I guess, talk to people. Painting in the Cosmos. I think Carl might like that because he likes sci-fi, but we'll see. Exercise mixtape. There are two of them that like working out. Maybe we won't do any more conversations since none of them are as close as I'd like them to be. Well, she likes live music, so she would probably like the band t-shirt. Yes. Well, she likes sketches. This is a pencil study of downtown or a hand-drawn movie poster. Let's try this. Oh, you bitch. Well, <laughs> at least I get a conversation. Hey, Cassidy. Sorry, I really don't want to. I know. I know. It's okay. I'm just glad to see you. I was worried, you know? You just went... Quiet. Can you give Sophie my number so I can check on you? Yeah, I guess. Thanks. It's okay. I get that you're not going to want to hang out right now, but I took an extra shift this week. I'm going to buy the Songstress Arc book. Reach out when you're ready, yeah? I want to lend it to you. Okay, thanks. Wow, she really hit some depression. I wonder what triggered it because she went there. Oh, well, maybe it was the fact that she got fired from her job, but it didn't explain why she got fired. All right. Fernando. So he likes history. So will you like a picture of historic Red Haven? Yes, he likes it. Patched up sweater because he likes thrift shops. Yes. Oh, that almost took him over. Maybe he'll like the earplug case? No, but it took him over. All right. Cassidy, I save it. Pardon? Whatever deep nugget of middle-aged wisdom you were getting ready to share, please don't. I've gotten enough of that from everyone else. I messed up. I know. I never should have come here. I was just going to ask if you were okay. Clearly not. Clearly I am not okay. Everyone keeps asking me if I'm okay. I don't know why it would be. I moved to the other side of the country, to a city, to try and prove that maybe I could be half as good as, that maybe I could follow my dreams. And I couldn't. Case closed. I'm a failure. And everyone back home is going to be so excited to talk about it for the next 30 years. Sorry, you didn't deserve that. You're right, I didn't, but I understand. Go home, Cass. Get some sleep. It'll be easier in the morning. Wow. So when she said she messed up, maybe she was just talking about like she messed up her life as opposed to anything specific to her job. Okay, and what do you like, Rose? Oh, she likes the mixtape. She does like it. Okay, cool. Well, let's get her convo. I can't take it. I really can't. Hmm. Everybody, every single person, everyone keeps giving me these big sad eyes, telling me they hope I feel better soon. I feel like garbage, Rose. Mm-hmm. I'm so tired all the time. I really don't have the energy for any of this. Why can't people just accept that I'm not feeling great? I don't think it's unreasonable to not feel great. I lost my job. 
I moved across the freaking country for it to this, this loud, cramped city where everyone is living on top of each other. Mm hmm. I can't make anything, Rose. I'm completely burned out. I don't know why. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know. Hmm. I guess I'm just bothering you, huh? A little bit. Only because you didn't tell me any of this was on the horizon, though. Hard to know what to say. I'll go. Sorry. I'm wasting your time. Cassidy, sorry. I won't bother you again. Oh, God. I just realized the music in this record store reminds me of Charlie Brown. But people wanting you to feel better is not the same as people thinking you don't have the right to feel bad. It's normal to not want you to feel bad forever. So I do get annoyed when people are like, oh my God, I've been depressed. I've been acting a way that somebody would act if they were borderline suicidal. How dare other people be concerned? <laughs> you know, like how dare other people not want me to be like that because they care about my health and well-being. Of course, people will want you to to get better and to be in a better place. Uh, anyway, enough with the conversations. I'm gonna try to do another run, see if I can get back to the end again. And once I get back to the end again, that's where we're gonna pick this up. So I'm not gonna end the episode. I'm just gonna see you in a bit. All right, so I've made it back here and I'm hoping this is not gonna be a repeat of how this episode started. Let's go ahead and check out this memory and then I'll tell you what my issue is right now. I had a panic attack right when I first arrived in Red Haven. I think I just wasn't fully prepared for the stark contrast with Back Hill. The weight of it caved in on me. My breath drew short and I could barely make it back into my building before collapsing. I'm dealing with it better, but I won't forget the feeling of powerlessness. So here's my concern. I again have the shield that does not allow me to block and parry on my own. What it does is it absorbs one attack, no matter what the direction is that it's coming from, but it takes 20 seconds to regenerate. The only other option I have then is to dodge and dodging is fine. The problem is this particular dodge, it lands me in a certain place because it, it also incorporates dash. The problem is when I get stuck in a room where I can't just just keep dodging because maybe the floor is full of red pit or it has lots of spinning traps because in this run I don't have any immunity that makes it more difficult for me to just zip around like this away from enemies so how well I do going forward really might just come down to the design of that particular room and where the enemies are oh, fuck yeah see right now I gotta take care of all these guys because I cannot actively block, right? So that's just too many things to have to dodge at once. See that? You see how like instead of the kunai going straight, they curve to hit the enemy? That's a fantastic keepsake to have. Oh, you know what? I am at the boss. So let's go ahead and kill the boss right now while I have full health. See, that shit just broke my shield. Fuck! <sighs> All right, I can't go into any of those things with that shield. I have to be able to block on my own. I'm gonna just change up my stuff and I shall return. Okay, I'm back and I'm on another, what I consider to be perfect run. I've got everything I think I need, except for red pit uh, and spinning trap resistance. I'm gonna go quiet because I feel like talking once I get closer to the end is too distracting. So, I mean, at most you might just hear me mumbling. No, don't get in the red pit, don't get in the red pit. I can very easily lose this fight from just doing dumb shit. Fuck, I don't have enough lucid. No, don't! Oh, shit. 
dumb shit like that. Please, almost. Come on, 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 come on. One hit, one hit. One hit. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, that was stressful. What did you drop? Increase health and boost armor, okay. Oh my God. I need to heal up. What is it? Frost fracture. 100% chance of freezing. Ooh. I like black hole because it poisons. Nah, you know what? I'm not, I'm not, uh, no, no, no. Stay the course. Let me just upgrade. Everything is pretty upgraded except this. In the next level, I might need to buy health or whatever else, so I don't want to use all the sand I have for no reason. I've gotten so far and I've gotten so good. What did he do? Oh my God. I don't, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shit, I didn't see that guy there. I don't know who you are, but you're dying immediately. All of you are dying immediately. Oh God, I keep forgetting if I use my alternate attack on that, it does this like gale storm thing. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to inadvertently end up in the red. This guy and his slow bullshit. Stop trying to slow me up. The boss is so far away, but I just have to not be dumb. I have to not be dumb. They master this melee weapon. I'm just making my way downtown. Oh my God, please don't let the boss be like so powerful that despite the fact that I have been doing so well right now, it is just gonna absolutely wreck everything that I've got. Oh, I'm being, I'm being very dumb. Okay, I'm just gonna walk in here so we can see what the final boss looks like. Oh yeah, that's what the start of the game was. Maybe this is the funeral home. All right, let's go pick up this health. Where is it? Oh, should I try the boss now? Cause here's the thing. I can either try the boss right now while I have full health, or I can fight through one more room, risk. No, you know what? I'm gonna risk it. Cause I was gonna say I could risk losing health and not being able to get any more back, but that'll give me access to two more rooms, the merchant and the upgrade. But the merchant, I believe always has uh, health I can buy. And I'm pretty sure I have so much sand that I can do that. So you know what? Let's risk it. Oh, okay. Well, that was worth risking it. All right, so let's, um... Oh, and I only have the one thing left anyway. The one key. All right, what is this? All projectiles homing... Yep, give me that. Home towards the enemy, perfect. That's going to make all of the projectiles home towards the enemy, including my uh, ranged attack. Because my other attack, my Lucid, already does that. But to have everything do that is great. Okay, okay. Get, get, oh, get stuck on the thing now. All right. And a firecracker. All right. Might as well just go for broke, you know? Like literally go for broke. Okay, guys. <laughs> this is it. This is the final boss in the game as far as I know. <sighs> okay, deep breath. Stretch my fingers. <sighs> Find my center. Let's go. Okay, how? What is this? Excuse me? Okay. Do not forget I have ranged attacks and they're homing attacks now.
All right, I refuse to lose this fight, so... You know what's gonna happen? Everything. You're getting everything I've got. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, can you stop for two seconds? Can you stop for two seconds? It, I, it's not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop, is it? <laughs> Why can I not use my ranged attack? Are you doing something so that I can't use my ranged attack? How did I let that hit me? Oh, I see. It took my ranged attack. I get it. Oh God, okay. 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 It's fine. It's fine. No! Oh my god, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. Oh! I did it! Oh shit, I got Doctor Stranged. Ascendant. Darkness is not the end. Continue to explore the waking world and grow your relationships before facing the darkness again. Run the gauntlet. Beat all levels without skipping bosses. Yeah, I don't know why I would bother. Congratulations! Now the Cassidy's conquered the dreamscape. The highest difficulty scores are now- Well, I'm not playing on nightmare mode. Wow! I- Okay, so I beat all of them. So now let's, uh, I guess go try to finish up my relationships, I guess? Wow. Okay, that was like kind of anticlimactic because I didn't even really believe that I beat the last boss, but that's it. So now everything that's left is literally just me 100%ing the game. That's not something I'm going to do now. Let me just go and see what I've unlocked. We'll do one more quick run through with the people and then I'll end this episode and that will be it for this series. What I might do is, you know, cause I'm gonna continue playing it on my own. I enjoy this game enough that 100%ing it will actually be fun for me. Like, cause I still have all these ideas that I have to find. And once I do that, like when everything is done, I'll record that so you can see that I have 100% of everything. My max health up. Yeah, cause there's still so much left to unlock. But man, that's it, I, I beat this, I'm so excited. <laughs>
I'm so excited. And plus, there are more stories. There are more um, things for these people to tell, more conversations to be had. So that's what we're going to do, guys. Well, that was it for Dreamscaper, guys. And this game was every bit of wonderful that I thought it would be when I played the demo. I thought the developers did such a good job. This game is so well balanced. The game loop is so satisfying. The progression is great. It really incentivizes different stages of progression, too, where no matter how far you get, there's always more to do. There's always more you want to unlock. There's always further that you want to go. I love the variety of all the weapons. Um, I really had a blast kind of going through and mastering them. Even the one or two things that I didn't like, it was still just satisfying to master them because I was incentivized to do that where I can unlock more resources and stuff like that. So long story short, this has been a fantastic game. I look forward to 100%ing it on my own time whenever I feel like doing so. Thank you so much to everyone who's been watching this. And as always, when one series ends, another one begins. So if you want to find out what that's going to be, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Support me on Patreon at the $1 tier or higher. And I'll be back very soon with some Something new.